Hey, Jenny, that song Noel is taking place, that other song. We good? All right. Good morning. Merry Christmas. How's everybody doing today? Merry Christmas. It is so great to see each and every one of you, especially this Sunday and this Lord's Day. If you will, you want to come on in and have a seat. Amen. Amen. Well, again, just good morning and Merry Christmas. It's so great to see you. Y'all came out in the cold. And we just appreciate you so much. I mean, it's not its not every Sunday we get to celebrate not only being in church, but coming on the day of the Lord's birthday. Amen? Amen. So happy birthday, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to do a little thing, little things a little different this morning. But if you are a first-time visitor of ours, there's a welcome card in the seat back in front of you. We'd ask that you fill that out at the end of the service. We would love the opportunity to meet you, greet you, put a free gift in your hand. But if you will, if you'll stand as we honor the Lord with the reading of his word, we're going to be in Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, and this is God's word. Now in those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that a census be taken of all the inhabited earth. This was the first census taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone was on his way to register for the census each to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which was called Bethlehem. Because he was of the house of the family of David. In order to register along with Mary, he, who he was engaged to him and was with child. While they were there, the Lord's, the days were completed for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Let us pray. Father God, this morning, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father. Father, we thank you that you for the air in our lungs, Father, that we can use to worship and praise your name, Father. We thank you for the free gift of salvation, Father. Father, we thank you for sending your son down to die for us as us, Father, so that we could spend eternity with you, Father. And this morning, Father, we just thank you and praise you, Father, for all that you do and for your promises that we can stand firm on, Father, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Father. We thank you and praise you. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Please remain Amen. standing. Amen. Merry Christmas, and let's worship the Lord this morning.
angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strain. say praise the Lord. Amen. Let me share another scripture verse for you from the same chapter while you're still standing. In the same region, there were shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And the angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. I guess so. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news and great joy, which shall be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in the manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. But when the angel had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds began saying to one another, Let us go straight to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known unto us. Amen. You may be seated. Good night. Baby Jesus in a manger lay. Mary knows that he's the way. It's Christmas. I'm so glad that it's Christmas. Lowly stable, now a holy place. The Lord appears in such a amazing grace. It's Christmas. I'm so glad that it's Christmas. For God's Son has become one of us lift up your voices loud and clear loud and clear let church bells ring let all the people sing i'm so glad it's christmas Angels singing glory in the fields, 
shepherds worship, their hearts are thrilled with Christmas. I'm so glad that it's Christmas. They sing a peace this new pay brings. Savior's born to restore all things. It's Christmas. I'm so glad that it's Christmas. Ring, let all the people sing. I'm so glad it's Christmas. Wise men coming, bearing gifts. The greatest one, the one he gives. It's Christmas. I'm so, so glad it is Christmas. Kneeling there before the King of Kings. Oh, what grace and life this new babe brings on this Christmas. I'm so glad it is Christmas. For God's Son has become. One of us, lift up your voices loud and clear, loud and clear. Let church bells ring, let all the people sing. I'm so glad it's Christmas. Let church bells ring, let all the people sing. I'm so glad. Let not be sad. I'm so glad. What is it? It's Christmas. Amen. He wrote that song. Sorry. I'm changing the order of service. Oh, okay, that's okay. He I did write that, that song. song a few years back. Your pastor wrote that song. <laughs> and I kind of had a question when I wrote that song, and so I'll explain by the this slide that's on the screen. When it talks about the angel said, you shall find a child wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Now, my thinking is, okay, which manger? There's no star to guide them. He's busy with the wise men, obviously, later. They're in the process of coming. But, you know, I think that if you start looking at the Bible closely enough, it becomes very evident which manger it was. There was a specific manger in Bethlehem at a specific place where the Levites apportioned certain shepherds and anointed them to be shepherds to raise the lambs for sacrifice. And there was a place in the book of Micah that talks about this called the, the Tower of the Clock. And 5-2 is that passage which the Pharisees quoted to the wise men when they came looking for Jesus, and they, they said, where will he be born? And they quoted that uh, at Micah 5, 2. Now, this is hundreds of years before Jesus was born. He said, it, you know, from Bethlehem of Shratta to too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you one will go forth for me to be the ruler of Israel. His going forth are from long ago, from the days of eternity. In other words, he's always been there. But then Micah 4, 8, as for you, tire of the flock, Heal of the daughter of Zion, to you it will come, even the former dominion will come, the kingdom of the daughter of Jerusalem. Now, obviously, he's telling them a specific place. In that tower was a manger, one single manger, that when the lambs were born, they would take these lambs in, wrap them in swaddling clothes, and lie them in that manger to examine them to see if they were fit to be sacrificed as an offering in the temple, because they had to be spotless lambs. And so they would examine this lamb, and if it was fit and proper and suitable, they would go to the top of the tire, light a fire, and then spread the news throughout that there was an acceptable sacrifice. What better place for Jesus to be born than in that particular manger? He is called the Passover lamb. 
It's just in the very shadow of this place where the tomb of Rachel is just outside Bethlehem. Rachel in childbirth was giving birth to her son Benjamin. Handmaiden looks at her and says to her, hey, you're not going to make it through this, but your son will live. She said to the handmaid, you name him Ben-Onai, which means child of my sorrows. She has plenty to be sorrowful of. She's not going to get to see him raised. She's not going to see the promise of the prophets over her family even. Benjamin was standing there, and he said, no, we're not going to name him Ben-Onai, son of my sorrows. We're going to name him Benjamin, child of my right hand. What more appropriate title for the Lord Jesus, who is also the man of sorrows as well as the son of God's right hand. Amen. The, the, the God who sits there and his son sits in authority on the right hand. This is Jesus. This is when John the Baptist was in the wilderness and Jesus appeared to him to be baptized. He said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. What a great Savior. Amen. What a glorious Lord. He loved us enough to come and offer his life as a sacrifice for our sins. child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping whom angels greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch are keeping this this is Christ the King whom shepherds guard and angels sing hey Saints to bring him love, the babe, the son of man. So bring him incense, gold and myrrh. Come, peasant king, to own him. The king of kings, salvation brings. Let loving hearts enthrone him. This, this is Christ the King, who shepherds God and angels sing. Hey, hey, to bring him love, the babe, the son of Amen. be seated. Glory streams from heaven above 
heavenly host sing hallelujah. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. And there will be no end to the increase of his government or of peace on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it, to uphold it with justice and righteousness from then on and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish it. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light. The radiant beams from thy holy face With the dawn of redeeming grace Jesus, Lord, in thy birth Jesus, Lord, in thy birth Praise the Lord. In John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5, says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Now catch this next part, as creator. Of all things came into being through him, this one who's the Word. Apart from him, nothing came into being that has come into being. In him was life, and that life was the light unto men. The darkness shined into the light, but the darkness comprehended it not. Now, catch just the titles of everything we've said about the Lord tonight in this brief time we've had together from Lamb to Light to Lord to Creator of all things to John goes on to call him Love. He is the King of Glory. There's a, a French greeting for Christmas. It's Noel, which basically means Merry Christmas. But now we know why Christmas is so merry because a Savior has been born, the perfect sacrifice for our sins. Risen from the dead, King of kings and Lord of lords. Love incarnate, love divine Stars and angels gave the sign Bow to babe on bended knee The savior of humanity Unto us a child is born And he shall reign forevermore No will, no will Come and see what God has done no will, no will. The story of amazing love, a light of the world, a given for us. No will. 
Son of God and Son of Man There before the world began Born to suffer, born to save Born to raise us from the grave and Christ the everlasting Lord And he shall reign forevermore No will, no will I Come and see what God has done No serve a risen Savior. We celebrate these days in Christianity and, you know, uh, just a, as an act of worship more than anything else. If you look at the Christmas, the nativity scene or whatever it might be, uh, all this is just worship. These wise men, they were most likely Persian rulers who were descendants of Abraham. They'd been carried off into Babylonian captivity. They had been w reading the scriptures, and now God giving them a sign have come. They've come to worship. They're bringing gifts to worship. Shepherds, man, they had already had one worship experience out in the field with the angels, but now they're coming to see visibly who the one that they are worshiping, the Lord Jesus lying in that manger. The Bible says he was wrapped in swaddling clothes. There are those who believe that those swaddling clothes were the linens that were used for, for the priest when they were doing the sacrifices in the altar. The problem with the linen of the priest is they could only be worn one time because those, those offerings were bloody sacrifices. So they'd take them and wash them as best as they could. They'd be used as wicks for the menorah candles. They'd be used in the temple. They'd be used for also the swaddling clothes, they say, in this shepherd's field. So think about those blood-stained garments. Though they're clean and fresh, still prophetically speak of this lamb who would be suffering for our sins. I mean, what a, what a tremendous, what a tremendous sacrifice for us. Woke up this morning. It's, it is Christmas. It's a day we celebrate. Some say, why Christmas on Sunday? What better day? It's our day of worship. Hallelujah. So let's stand and let's worship the Lord together and sing, oh, come all you faithful. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ alone. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come there. 
sing choirs of angels sing in exaltation sing all ye citizens of heaven above now sing it glory to god glory in the highest oh come let us adore him oh come let us Sing the chorus again. Really lift up. Oh, come, let us. Uh. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Let's just change the words a little bit. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. He alone is worthy, Christ. Alone. Oh, come, let us adore him one more time. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Now I'm going to make you do it one more time just with your voice. It's a little slower, a little softer. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Christ. Give him an offering of praise and worship. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Well, amen. Got a couple of closing announcements here. Uh, first, you do not want to miss next Sunday, January 1st. We, we will be having church service. We'll also be taking the Lord's Supper. So what better way to start out the new year than be with Jesus and be with like-minded brothers and sisters. Amen. So you don't want to be, you don't want to miss that. So next Sunday, January 1st, here we'll be taking the Lord's Supper. Also, no Wednesday night service this Wednesday. No Wednesday night service this Wednesday. If you're a guest of ours, there's a welcome card in the seat back in front of you. I'd love the opportunity to meet you, greet you, put a free gift in your hand. So if you mind filling that out, uh, I'll meet you at the end of the service out there in the foyer. Uh, don't forget your tithes and offering, three ways to give online, in person, or you can drop a check off here at the uh here in the office during our normal work days. Um, here's our Christmas offering update. To date, I want to say we're right around $21,000 for our Christmas offering. And on top of our normal missions that we have allotted in our budget, this is above and beyond that. So for uh, Belize and the other countries in the Caribbean there and, and Central and South America, this is what this money goes to. And so you can see behind me the totals. Our goal, again, is $25,000. That's not meaning that we're stopping once we get $25,000. That means let's keep going and, and doing work for Christ. Amen? Amen. And then finally, uh, on behalf of the staff of Believers Fellowship, from our families to yours, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And I'm going to close with this. Romans 15, 13 says this. Now may the Lord, the God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so this morning, right now I'd like to take a moment and just pray a blessing over you and your family. And let's go to, let's go to the Father together. Lord God, thank you for your grace, Father. Thank you for your son and the free gift of salvation this morning. Father God, I pray for, that our faith grow as we grow closer to you, Father. Father God, this morning I pray that our faith becomes stronger, having the full assurance of your saving grace, Father. Father God, may we believe in you fully and never waver. Let us rest on your promises and fill 
and the great surety of the high priest of the new covenant that we may feel the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension and all understanding. Let it guard our hearts and our minds, Father God. And it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas and God bless you all. Leave these vocal mics on just for a minute. You're dismissed. <laughs>